This is a book review of Pablo by J. Braman and C. Obreri. Now it's an art master's book from Self Made Heroes. They bring out loads of these sort of books. You've got to one for Vincent, Vincent van Gogh, you've got Monk, you've got uh, Rembrandt, you've got Andy Warhol, and others. So it's part of their series of brilliant books. Now this book came out in 2015, uh, originally published in France, and it's I think an absolutely brilliant book. So I'm just going to quickly run through that. And how many pages? There are about 340 pages, predominantly all in colour. You can see there in colour. Now it starts off initially in modern day Paris with obviously Montmartre. This is all in basically Montmartre. There's a few scenes going backwards and forwards between other places, but predominantly in Paris, Montmartre. And this is about the rivalries, the friendships, selling paintings, the problems with dealers, problems with women. There's some sex in it. There's lots of uh, lots of people sitting around in bars discussing the world, having problems sitting in bars and so on and so on. Having no money, selling paintings and so on. The life of a painter. Certainly a life of a painter in 1901, dominantly set in 1901. We've got this old woman that sets the frames of the story. So... Then it goes back in time to 1901. And you've got coming to Paris, and you've got Picasso obviously coming in and seeing Paris for the first time, and just absolutely beautiful. I love the artwork. The artwork is absolutely superb all the way through this. I have to be careful which page is open because, of course, some are slightly. So there's some scenes there. So you can see the sort of style, very muted colours all the way through. The paper quality is superb, and you can see there the binding there, so how it opens. So it's fairly okay opening there. But it goes through Picasso's life. It doesn't go very far. It doesn't go all the way, obviously, to a lot later. It stops basically a few years after 1901. So you've got a bit of his life. You've got all him doing various Cooking, those sort of things, is not all about painting. There are obviously some scenes where he's painting his very famous paintings. However, there's most of it is really just him wandering around. There's scenes of people kicking paintings, scenes obviously of lovemaking and, and much more. So it's great book, beautiful artwork, definitely an absolute gem to read. Thoroughly, very easy to read. Of course, one of those books you can read in a couple of hours. But it's one of those books that often pick off the shelf and will reread. Of course, if you want to learn a vast amount about Picasso, you probably wouldn't particularly go to a graphic novel like this, though it's absolutely superb. Obviously, there's thick, massive thousand page books like John Richardson's brilliant Picasso books and those sort of things. So you would probably check those out because, of course, you can see all the actual paintings, all the various works he's done. But here you just get a feel for the period, feel for the life, the times, what it went through, as much as you ever can. Obviously, this is near enough equivalent of watching a film. If you go and see a Picasso film of his early days, then that would be. It. But I think this book is absolutely beautiful. Thoroughly enjoyed reading it and totally recommended, as far as I'm concerned. Worth checking out.